Hey guys, what's going on? It's Greggles TV. I'm going to show you how to install Remix OS for your PC. It's going to allow you to install Android on your PC or your Mac and run Android apps from it and also run their version of Android on your device. So first thing you want to do is go to the website. I will link it in the description down below. And then you want to do the free download. So just click free download. You'll, it'll bring you to this page right here. And what you'll do is check off that you're a developer and you've read the above message. Once you do that, you can click download now. And a couple of things you need to keep in mind is you need a USB 3.0 flash drive, AKA USB drive. And once you have that, make sure it's formatted to FAT32. Once you have your USB drive up, all you want to do is just right click that, click format, make sure right here the file system says FAT32, and then hit start. Once it starts, it'll take about less than a minute and it will format it to FAT32 for you. Next thing you want to do is go to where you downloaded that zip file and you want to unzip it. So just right click it and unzip. Once it's done unzipping, you want to open up that folder and you want to run this exe file, your Remix OS USB tool. So double click it. Hit yes. And then it's asking where it can burn that ISO file. So I get the USB disk right here for F. So select an ISO to load below. And when you choose to load it, you're going to go to the same folder that you unzipped to. So you'll see it ISO right here. I'm just going to double click it. It's going to go to my F drive. The F drive is that USB drive. Now I'm going to hit OK. Now that it's done making the USB boot drive, what you want to do is reboot the computer. So it's asking us to reboot. And while it reboots, we're going to have to hit the F12 key on the keyboard once it gets out of this. So, so we're going to start hit F12. Once you see it go black, hit F12. Oh, actually, mine's F11 because boot menu. F11 for boot menu. So it's asking me to select the boot device. I'm going to choose this USB. I'm going to click it. And here you go. So now it's asking me if I want to boot into guest mode, no data will be saved after each session or resident mode. All your data and apps are saved. I'm going to choose resident mode and hit enter. Decompressing Linux and detecting Android x86. All right, so it's all up and running now. One of the things you'll find out is that there's no Google Play Store installed, so you, you don't have Google Play Store. So I, I tried a workaround that I found online and it's still not working. I mean, I have the Google Play Store, but I can't download anything. When I try to download an app, it will not download the app. So I'll show you, I'll just hit install. I get this, I hit accept, and then I'll get an error up here. Tried a bunch of things, still isn't working, so I have to still work on that. But otherwise, um, it comes with a browser, I'll show you right here. So websites and things will load up pretty fast too. I'll go to my my website just to show you. Greggles.tv.com. <clears throat> and you can see it loads up the desktop versions of the website when it's on here. Um, another cool thing is this is a touchscreen laptop and I can actually use the touchscreen feature on the laptop. Everything works, pinch to zoom, all that cool stuff. You can see videos play pretty damn good. That's playing right there. Let me see if I'm able to change the... Nah, I can't. It doesn't look like I can... There's no place to change the quality of it, but it looks like it's running in 1080p. It looks pretty freaking clear, so that definitely works. Um, the other apps that it comes with are the browser, calculator, camera, which I don't know what it's going to use for a camera. Let me see. Uh, okay, so it uses my front-facing camera, Mito. Uh, you also have a clock, contacts, downloads, file manager, um, Google pinion input, whatever that is, uh, Google settings, MX player, and music. All these other things were installed when I try to install Google Play Store. 
and the OS is running off a 3.0 USB stick. So make sure you have USB 3.0 stick, otherwise it won't really work. So it looks like when you try to sideload an app, at least Firefox, you can see it's crashing right here. So this is really still buggy, it's in alpha. Um, sometimes it hangs up, sometimes it runs really well. It's definitely cool to play with, but right now, um, I'd probably, if you asked me to try it now or wait, I'd probably tell you to wait until they release a newer version. Uh, right now they're still in the January 12th version, but runs okay sometimes, otherwise runs kind of crappy. Uh, you do have all your settings up here. Uh, the one that is missing is updates. I don't see that anywhere on here. Um, you can go into all kinds of, you can go into the notifications and turn those on and off, but it's still kind of baking in the oven. Um, but it does work if you want to try out Android, um, but it does work partially if you want to try this on a PC. I'll continue with the updates as the updates come out and try to give you more updates. And once I get Google Play Store involved, I will show you that as well, guys. So guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys down the road. Peace.